So I'm just gonna show you a couple uh, addition algebra questions where I'm solving for my variable k. So if you see a question white like this, where it's k plus four equals 10, remembering I'm trying to get the k isolated or by itself on one side of the equation. So I'm gonna wanna get rid of this plus four, essentially move it to the other side. So I'm thinking the opposite of plus four is minus four. If I minus four from this side, I minus four from that side the two, the plus four, and the minus four cancel each other out on this side of the equal sign. So I end up with k equals 10 minus four, or k equals six. Another addition question, and although this is really quite similar, um, there's one additional step to this. As we've said before, we're always trying to get that k by itself. So I have the option of I could move the k over there, but then I have to move the 10 back over there. That's kind of a little messy. So my first thought would be, is 6 plus k the same as k plus 6? So what I'm saying down here is, can I change 6 plus k, can I change it to k plus 6? So let's try that with a couple numbers just for to see. 1 plus 2 equals three. If I change the order of the two and the one, is it gonna make a difference? Two plus one, no, still equals three. So the simplest way to solve this question would be to go, you know what? Six plus K is the same as K plus six. So I'm gonna switch that, still equals 10. Now I can just do like we did last time, opposite to plus six, minus six, minus six, cancels each other out, K equals 10 minus 6, or k equals 4.